Welcome to this uh, introduction to mindfulness and a quick body scan practice. Uh, if you want to go straight to the body scan, if you skip ahead to slide five, that's the slide that will take you through the body scan. Otherwise, I'm going to do um, a short introduction uh, to mindfulness in general and that practice. Um, and there are also uh, some resources uh, at the end. So my name's Megan Smith. I'm a senior educational psychologist uh, in Suffolk County Council's psychology and therapeutic services. Um, I'm trained to teach teenagers uh, in mindfulness through the DOT B program, through the Mindfulness in Schools program. So I'm not trained to teach adults, I'm just sharing uh, a practice here um, that we um, hope you might find useful. Um, so this introduction uh, and the body scan is taken from some taster sessions that we did for work colleagues. Uh, we've run them a couple of times. Um, and uh, so, um, yeah, that's that's where this has come from. Um, so you might find just doing uh, this short uh, taste a session uh, useful um, and uh, may find it um, calming and reducing stress. Um, however, what we know is that it's developing a regular mindfulness practice um, that is the most uh, beneficial. So kind of treating it like uh, exercise in general, uh, but in this uh, situation, we're exercising our mindfulness muscle rather than other muscles. Um, it is something that develops um, over time. A lot of people uh, will develop their mindfulness skills through an eight week uh, mindfulness based stress reduction or cognitive therapy course, um, which is uh, a two hour sessions over eight weeks, uh, which introduces all of um, aspects of mindfulness um, and encourages a regular practice. So this is John Kabat-Zinn, uh, who is one of the founders of mindfulness uh, in the UK, um, uh, is a, a professor in uh, America, um, and he defines mindfulness in this way. So it's awareness that arises from paying attention, um, and that could be paying attention in today we're going to be doing our bodies, but it could be paying attention to our breath, uh, to various senses, uh, so using something to pay attention to could be our regular tasks. We do it on purpose. So it's something that we set out to do. Um, it brings us into the present moment. So we're paying attention to what's happening now, not what's happened in the past uh, or is going to happen in the future. And we try to do that in a non-judgmental way. So we accept uh, whatever's there. Uh, we don't try and change it, although often there will be changes as we're observing. Um, and it's not wrong to feel in any particular way. So what we're trying to cultivate is a way of being and we call it the being mode as opposed to the doing mode where, as it says, we're doing things, uh, we're planning, we're uh, doing various activities. Um, and uh, in our culture, we tend to do a lot of doing and not a lot of being. Um, so it's trying to cultivate that different way of being, even for short periods of time. Uh, some people will find this uh, easier to do in kind of more practical activities. So it may be, um, I see how the body scan goes, but some people find sitting still quite difficult. Um, and so uh, for you, uh, maybe uh, walking, being in nature, uh, doing exercise, all of those things can be done uh, mindfully. In fact, anything can be done mindfully. Loading the dishwasher can be done mindfully. So I mentioned that when we're practicing mindfulness, we generally pay attention to a particular thing. Often it's the breath uh, because it's there. Uh, today we're going to use the body as an anchor. And again, it's always with you. Uh, so it's uh, something that's useful uh, to pay attention to. Um, the reason for paying attention to the body as well as is it is part of our overall nervous system. Uh, so things don't just happen uh, in our heads. Um, they happen all throughout our body and our nervous system. Uh, and we refer to feelings by referencing um, our body as well. We'll talk about butterflies in the tummy. We'll talk about having a heavy or a broken heart. Uh, so emotions are already kind of tied up uh, with our body. Um, 
in our sort of language and in poetry. We, the relationship between our minds or our brains and our body um, often is overlooked though, um, and we tend to spend most time in our heads um, rather than paying attention to what's going on in our body. So we're very good at thinking and planning um, and ruminating on the past and worrying about the future and not so good on checking in uh, with our bodies and what's going on. Um, and actually, if we learn to check in with our bodies, that's often where we can get the earliest signs of what's going on for us. Uh, so noticing um, our telltale uh, stress signatures may give us that um, moment or a pause to go and do something differently uh, before things uh, become much bigger. There's also another aspect of um, why maybe we don't pay attention to our bodies is maybe we've got uh, various hang-ups about our bodies. Uh, we don't want to pay attention to uh, parts of our bodies uh, that we don't like. Um, so again, thinking about that sort of acceptance and non-judgmental part of mindfulness, we're going to try and pay attention to all of our bodies um, without worrying too much um, about any particular part um, of our body. So just introducing the uh, body scan uh, in particular, um, there's kind of three main aspects um, as to why I'm doing that uh, today. Uh, one, as I said, is just a another way of practicing mindfulness by focusing our attention on a particular thing. Um, and in this um, practice, we're going to um, be paying attention to our bodies. As I said, it's about checking in with what's going on. So kind of being curious uh, and noticing. Um, and hopefully there's an aspect of letting go of some stress or tension. Um, but that's a byproduct and not necessarily anything that um, will happen. But lots of people say that it does. Um, the body scan is one of my favorites. Um, maybe because uh, a body scan is often done lying down. Um, and, and I find that a relaxing uh, position to be in. Um, so when we go on to the next slide and start the body scan, uh, this is something you can do lying down on the floor. If you've got somewhere um, nice to lie um, or, or your bed, you get to kind of snuggled up blankets and things. But equally, you can do it sitting down. And so I'll be doing it uh, sitting with you today. Um, so feel free to pause and go and place yourself uh, where you would like to be. Um, and then we're going to uh, start that uh, in a moment. Um, just to kind of warn you that although we're paying attention to the body and trying to get out of our heads, uh, that, that message tends not to get to our heads. And so there will be a lot of background chatter and thought uh, going on. And the aim of this practice isn't to make that go away. Um, so it's about accepting that um, that's what our brains are going to do while we're doing this, including uh, such messages of uh, this is silly. I feel stupid. Um, why are we doing this? Uh, thinking about uh, what you're going to have to eat later, uh, jobs that need doing. So your mind is going to come up uh, with all of those things. So just notice that. Notice what thoughts are coming up for you and then return back to whichever part of your body um, I'm on at the time. Uh, this practice is also um, a lovely one to do because you often do it lying down if you are struggling to get to sleep or get back to sleep uh, in the night time. So um, I will often do a body scan if I'm lying awake at night um, and generally um, I'll go all the way through two or three times and often between uh, the second and the third time of going through the body scan, I'll fall asleep somewhere there. So again, it's a way of coming out of our heads um, as we start to ruminate and worry about why we're awake uh, and into our body, uh, which can help slow those thoughts down. OK. So as I said, as you can see in the picture there, this is something you can do uh, sitting down um, or standing up. 
um, and as I say, I'm going to talk you through as though you were uh, sitting today. So the first thing to do is to um, establish a comfortable uh, sitting position. Um, if you feel comfortable uh, where you are, closing your eyes, uh, but if you're not somewhere uh, where you can do that easily, uh, then just sort of lowering your gaze and looking past the end of your nose so that you're not really staring at any uh, one particular thing. Um, have your legs uncrossed and your feet either on the floor or uh, a step or something uh, so that you can feel your feet uh, on a surface. And you're trying to sit um, quite upright but relaxed, so your shoulders uh, relaxed, your hands uh, in your lap or on the arms of the chair. Um, and you can rest against the back of the chair if that feels uh, more comfortable. So it's going to be a position that you can hold uh, for a little while but feels quite comfortable. And the first thing to do uh, is to notice your breath in your body today. So where in your body can you feel your breath the strongest? Maybe you can feel it in your stomach. Uh, maybe it's in your ribs. Maybe you can actually feel it coming in and out of your nose. So the warm air coming in through your nose and the colder air going out through your nose. So just stopping and paying attention to where it is that you're feeling that the strongest. And then just follow two or three breaths coming in and out. You're not trying to change your breath in any way. You're just noticing what it is like um, at the moment. And now take a few moments to bring your awareness to the physical sensations in your body. Um, so where uh, you're touching or making contact with the chair and the floor, notice those sensations there and notice how the chair comes up to meet you and is exerting pressure against you as you sit down. And now moving your attention to your abdomen. And being aware of the abdominal wall as it moves in and out as you're breathing. And now you're going to gather your attention as if it were a spotlight and bring it down your body, through your legs, into both feet and all the way out to your toes. So focus on each of your toes bringing a gentle, interested attention to them. So seeing if you can feel each individual toe, you don't need to move them. Maybe you can feel your socks against your toes or your shoes if you're wearing them. Do they feel warm, cold, tingly? So bringing a curiosity to what's going on in your toes. Maybe you don't feel anything at all and that's fine too. So we're trying not to judge it as right or wrong, just allowing them to be there just as they are. And on an in breath, feel or imagine that the breath could enter the lungs and pass all the way down through the body, through the legs and into the toes. And then on an out breath, feel or imagine the breath flowing out of the toes and the legs and the body and out of the nose or mouth. So it's a bit weird, but have a go. Breathing in to the toes and then out of the toes. So just stay with it and practice it and come at it with a playful approach. And when you're ready on an out breath, let go of the toes and bring your awareness to the sensations in the bottom of your feet. Bring a gentle, investigative awareness to the soles of your feet. The instep. The heel. The balls of your feet. Maybe you can feel pressure of your feet making contact with the floor. 
again, can you feel socks? Are they warm, cold, tingly? So just paying attention to what you can feel in the bottom of your feet. And then allow your awareness to expand into the rest of the feet. So the top of the feet, into the ankles, right into the bones and joints and out to the surface of the skin. And this time on a deeper in breath, allowing your breath to flow down into both feet and then breathing out of your feet. On an out breath, slowly allow your awareness to drift up from your feet to your lower legs. So just paying attention to what's going on in your lower legs, the physical sensations. Feeling into the calves and the shins. And then let your attention move up into your knees and into your upper legs. Again here you may feel sitting against your chair, so there may be pressure, clothing. Okay, and moving up into the hips, the buttocks, the pelvic area. And noticing what you feel here. No right or wrong, just allowing it to be however it is. And moving up into the stomach, the small of your back. Again, you may feel your breath moving here. And then allowing your attention to move into your upper back and your chest. Now you're going to allow your attention to flow down both of your arms into your hands and all the way out to your fingers. So trying to feel each individual finger. Are they hot, cold, tingly? What can you feel your fingers resting against? Expanding your awareness into your hands, into the palms and the tops of your hands. Into the wrists. The lower arms the elbows, the upper arms, and into your shoulders. Notice if you've tensed your shoulders at all and allow them to relax. And then allowing your attention to move up through your neck and throat. And into your head. So we're going to notice the jaw, the lips, the mouth. Maybe you can feel your tongue in your mouth, your cheeks, your nose, your ears, your eyes and the eye sockets the forehead and the temples, through to the top of your head and feeling all over your scalp. And then we're going to slowly let our attention go all the way back down our body. And just noticing where feels comfortable, where feels less comfortable not trying to change it, just noticing it. So we're going to move from the top of our head 
down through our head and the neck and the shoulders and through the arms to the hands and through the chest and the upper back and the abdomen and the lower back and the buttocks and the pelvic area and the upper back sorry the upper legs the knees the lower legs into the ankles and the feet and all the way out to the ends of the toes And then just sitting there, paying attention to the whole of your body, sitting in the space where you are. And then feeling the space around you to so the environment that you're in. Maybe you can feel the air on your skin. Listening to the sounds around you. So just bringing yourself back into the place where you are. And when you're ready opening your eyes to have a look around. So hopefully you enjoyed that body scan as much as I enjoy doing body scans. And I'm just wondering how you feel now. So just thinking about that. Are there any changes from how you felt at the beginning? Did you notice any tension in your body? And it would be interesting over the next few days to think about where you typically hold your tension and where you might need to check in uh, with your body periodically during the day. And then finally, there are some resources if you are interested in finding out some more about mindfulness. Um, so there are lots of people doing body scans on YouTube um, of different lengths. So from just a few minutes through to whole hours. Um, so I think it's a case of experimenting and finding a voice that you like uh, because we're all different. Um, and there's also a short three minute body scan uh, on Headspace. Um, in that link there. So that might be something that you want to have a look at. I've put the details for uh, Mark Williams and Danny Penman's uh, book um, because it takes you through um, an eight week mindfulness based course uh, in that book. Um, and it comes with um, audio links for the different practices. Uh, so if you want to sort of self guide yourself through an eight week course, that would be a really good way uh, to do it. And it's it's not a very expensive book. Um, I've given the details to Headspace uh, on there as um, one of the places uh, that you can find out more about mindfulness. There are some lovely animations um, and lots of different practices and you can sign up for free uh, to do um, uh, the uh, initial 10 um, sessions, I think. Um, if, if that's of interest, the um, be mindful uh, .co .uk, um, will um, give you ideas of where you can do the eight week course if you're interested. And there's also a be mindful online. So you can do that eight week course um, as a as an online um, activity on your own as well. And I've also given the details for mindfulness in schools .org, which is where I trained uh, to do the dot B program with teenagers. So I hope that um, was useful. Um, and as I say, come back to that if you would like to to slide five just to do the body scan or hopefully you can find some other practices uh, that you enjoy doing too. Thanks for listening. Bye.